Hey everybody, this is Doug Missy Fit Reptiles. And have you ever had a situation where if you use frozen feeders to feed your collection, before you go to your freezer and pull out the rats or mice or whatever you have in there, before you go pull them out, you have to figure out, man, I need to figure out how many mice uh, and rats I need to pull out for different sizes, you know, mediums, uh, smalls, pups, fuzzies, whatever it is you need to pull out for feeding your collection. Uh, obviously, you don't want to pull out too many of one and not be able to feed that to most of your animals. Uh, when you have a smaller collection, it's a little bit easier to say, hey, um, I only have five snakes, so I need to pull out a medium, a small, two weaned, and a fuzzy. You know, it's something like that. But when you get to be where you have more than like 20, sometimes it gets to be a little bit harder to keep track of, especially if you have a lot of different animals in different sizes that are eating different size prey. What I did is I came up with a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet, and I'm going to show you guys what I do to figure out how many rats or mice that I need to pull out for the given week for feeding. And hopefully this will help you guys out. It's definitely been a help for me. Uh, it's a lot better than having to go through my rack every week to try to figure out what exactly everything is eating. And right now, because I don't have anything labeled, it's really hard if I did that. So I have a list of all my snakes and then what exactly they eat and how to do it. And I'm going to show you guys what I do with that. <laughs> Okay, so here I'm going to show you what I do to figure out how many uh, frozen feeders I need to thaw out for the ball pythons. So what I'm going to do here is show you how I set up a spreadsheet through Microsoft Excel. So I use the Excel spreadsheet to come up with a list of all my ball pythons. And in that list of ball pythons, uh, next to it, what I have is the size of rats that I have for frozen feeders. And this is my rat. See, I have rat count and mouse count. Now, mouse, I don't have any frozen mice, and I rarely do mice unless something's not eating rats. But everything I have right now is on rats. So I have medium, small plus, small, weaned, pup, and fuzzy sizes. Now, the reason why I do this is because you start to get a decent amount of ball pythons in your collection and trying to figure out what every single one of them eats every single time may be kind of a hassle. Uh, so what I do is I, I have down what everything is feeding on. So I have so the Killer Blast, one medium, Pastel, Mil Pastel Mystic Potion, one medium, Pastel Ivory, one medium, but my Pastel Double Heck Clown Pied is eating smalls. Uh, the GHI Mojave is eating weaned. The Toffino is eating weaned. The Vanilla Shoutout currently is on Pup, but I'm just going to show you all I have to do is change it. I'll, I'll get to that part in a moment. And then Fuzzies, this last one on the list here. Fuzzies, that would be uh, all the hatchlings from this season. So any hatchlings I have that I acquire from somebody or that I produce myself, uh, as far as rats go, I always start them off on fuzzies. Uh, however, usually when I start them, the very first meal they'll ever take will be like a hopper or a mouse, and I usually do that live. Uh, I usually will get that from somebody local. And then I have the for sale one, so anything that's not in my collection, I figure out how many of those I have, and then I, and usually it's a higher number on the fuzzy side because usually it's my hatchlings that I have for sale. Uh, I have one adult uh, male breeder. He's eating smalls. So, or I'm sorry, weaned. I guess I have him down for weaned. Um, but he, yeah, he can take smalls otherwise. So, here I have the total of every single. If every single snake were to eat, this is the total that they would have. Then what I do is I put in a variable of in shed or off feed and they'll be like minus one or minus two, uh, something along those lines. Usually I find if I thaw out every single, for every single snake I have, I'll usually have stuff that's left over, and it doesn't, uh, I, I end up not having, being able to feed it to something. So I, some of my snakes will eat twice in a day, 
so what I try to do is alleviate that a little bit. So I just figure on, okay, on average I have maybe one female uh, adult that eats mediums that may, might not eat for that week. Sometimes it's two, but what I do is I just put a minus one here, minus one there, minus one there. Uh, as far as this little stuff, usually if there's any little stuff left like this, something that's bigger might eat it if they've already eaten uh, small or, or medium or something along those lines. So what I do is, uh, these are just face values. You see here, it's just a face value, one, 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 whatever I put in there. So what happens then is down in the total, you put in equals and you type in sum. And then what you do is, uh, basically I'll show you here. I'll just delete this. So now this is nothing, nothing's here. So what I do is I will type in equals, type in sum, and then what I will do is scroll up. Grab this first, oops. Sum. I forgot to put a parenthesis in there. So you put the parenthesis in there. Scroll up. Now that that box has been picked, you just drag it all the way down to your last box and put a parenthesis in there and press enter. So then that makes it where it adds up every single box. So every single box here has been added up and it is the sum of all those boxes right here. So then what I do is I, I put a value in here, in shed or off feed, it could be whatever reason that they might not be eating for, the, for that, for that uh, value. So here I put a, a negative one. I mean, not that I can't figure this out, it's really easy, but just so that way I can just look at the total rats to thaw out. That is the very bottom one that I have. So total rats to thaw out would be that. So I take this right here and then equals, put a parenthesis, and then you would put B40, this is B43, see it's B and then 43 would be this box. And then because this is a negative number, you can just add add whatever this is. Or you can just put a number here without a minus in front of it and then say you want it to be B43 minus B44. And that would equal your total amount. So by doing this, so I have 36 ball pythons in my collection right now. Uh, along with stuff for sale. So it's quite a bit of them to just say, okay, I need to have this many mediums and this many small pluses and this many smalls, this many weans. I'd have some small pluses in there right now, but I don't have any. Uh, I've been having a hard time finding small pluses. Usually I'll do that as an in-between uh, stage for between a uh, snake that's eating smalls, uh, transitioning into mediums. I wouldn't just go right from small. I'd go into small plus and then mediums. Some places don't offer small plus. American Rodent Supply does, and that's usually where I get my feeders from. Sometimes I get them from Rodent Pro. Sometimes I get them from a local person. So it all depends on what I have here. But when you're dealing with, you know, five, six different uh, sizes, then, you, you know, it's, it's it's nice to have a little system done like this. So then basically what I can do then is I print it out, which I went ahead and did. So here I have a printed out version. And it has that on there. So I could take this paper right down to my freezer, go into my bags and pull out whatever I need. Like I said, it's not so it's not so hard when you only have 10, 15 animals, but once you start getting 20 plus animals, it's it's like, okay, well, let me see here, how many do I need to get mediums out? How many, how many smalls do I need to get out? You know, when you're doing frozen, you, you really want to alleviate having to waste any of the frozens because if you if there's snakes that don't eat them you to pull out too many of one kind and you don't have any and you have some snakes that might not eat them then you end up having to dispose of those uh, it's not typically good to re refreeze them 
Okay, so I realized I forgot to show you guys how easy it is to change this stuff. So if I wanted to change this right here and change it to a small, all I have to do is go like that and put it in small instead and it will change. You can see it changed down here. So, uh, what was the vanilla shout out? It's going to start taking weaned instead of pups. So see how that changed it there, and then down here it changed as well. So, I think my male soul sucker hat desert ghost is going to be going to pups instead of fuzzies. Oops. And... Queen Bee Malum is going to start to go to weaned instead of pups. So now that I made the changes, if I was to feed right now, it'd be 12 rat, 12 mediums, 9 smalls, 6 weaned, 1 pup, and 12 fuzzies. So you can just change that. You know, you just look at what you have. If you decide something's changing a food item, going from one size to another, then you would just make the adjustments. And then, if that's the same thing to read in for a while, this is you can go off the same chart for however long, make any minor adjustment adjustments, and go up here and, and save it. Simple as that. So, just wanted to show you guys that, because I forgot to show that during the main part of the video. So, that's how you would change things. This portion of the video is going to be a shout out to my patrons on my Patreon page. Patreon is a type of crowdfunding site where you can uh, earn earn money and raise funds for your projects. It's for creators of things, so creators of YouTube videos and blogs and different things like that. So what I'm doing is I have a Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash hissyfitreptiles. You can feel free to go ahead and support me on there and, and pledge money. If you do pledge money, it's not just where you pledge money and you don't get anything. You actually get a lot of a lot back in return from me. Some people give a few rewards, some of them don't give any. I try to make sure that you guys are well taken care of if you're going to pledge money. And, and there's a $2 minimum pledge, and it's, it comes out of your account every month. So it comes out on the first of every month. Now, being that today is the first, you if you become a, a patron member for me and you pledge money in October, I'm sorry, in November, you will not be charged until the first of the following month. So you can become a, a patron of mine but your funds won't actually withdraw from your account until the first of the following month. With that being said, I'm also going to show you guys what I still have available for sale and uh, go through the names of the people that I'm going to do shoutouts for. So these are people that that are patrons, and with certain levels you get shoutouts on my videos. So uh, along with other stuff, uh, one being right now 10% off. Anything that you get from Hissy Fit Reptiles, you get 10% off. So... Here we have a hidden gene Woma, granite, 100% het desert ghost male. And my first shout out is for D and J Skull Ball Pythons. You can visit them at facebook.com slash ball p game. And that is D and J Skull Ball Pythons, a supporter of me on, on my Patreon website. So thank you very much, you guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, you can also visit them and check out their stuff on Morph Market. So thank you, DJ Skull Ball Pythons. Go to the next one here. This is a Soul Sucker 100% Desert Ghost male. And the next shout out goes to Eddie Mack from City Serpents, and you can visit him on Instagram. Check out at City underscore serpents. City underscore serpents on Instagram. And he's got some stuff on there, so be sure to check him out. Thank you, Eddie. I really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting me here on Patreon. Next up is Carlos Mendez. Thank you very much, Carlos. I appreciate your support. Um, I, don't, I don't have a whole lot of information. Um, basically, uh, if you become a patron, you want me to do shout-outs, uh, you can tell me how to what you'd like me to do for shout-outs if you... When you know if you get that part of the of the 
section on there. So some some of the rewards do not do shout outs. Like uh, the two dollar ones technically don't, but because I only have a few patrons, I'm gonna do shout outs for them anyways. But when you get into the five, ten, twenty dollar range, you get shout outs and, and actually determining how many uh, shout outs you get per per month or whatever. So uh, this right here is a lesser 100% desert ghost male. Uh, so thank you, Carlos Mendez, for being a supporter on my Patreon page. Next up here is a pastel 100% desert ghost male. This boy is still available. And next shout out is for Phil Sutton from Bam Bam's Ball Pythons. You can visit Bam Bam's Ball Pythons at facebook.com slash Bam Bam's Ball Pythons. Thank you very much, Phil, for supporting me on Patreon. And there will be some of the links uh, for some of these animal, or sorry, for some of these uh, patron supporters on the link in the description below. This right here is a Lemon Blast 100% Het Desert Ghost Male. Lemon Blast 100% Het Desert Ghost Male. Next one, next shout out goes to Jeremy Bush. Thank you very much, Jeremy Bush, for the support on Patreon. I really appreciate it. And he's working on building up a collection. Doesn't have a YouTube or a Facebook um, going for the ball python stuff or anything, but he's working on building up a collection. So uh, probably you're looking for some stuff from him here in the near future. So thanks again, Jeremy Bush, for supporting me on Patreon. This right here, I'm still not for sure if I'm going to sell him. It's either between him or him. This is a Super Pastel Super Stripe. And this is a Bumblebee Super Stripe. And this, this boy here is in Shed. But they're both eating really good, so that's really awesome. Uh, the next, the next uh, shout-out goes to Ed. Zelinski, thank you very much, Ed. I really appreciate your support. Uh, these next two, this Ed and the, and the next one I'm gonna do, they actually did the two dollar, the two dollar pledge, which, you know, every little bit counts. If you know, if we can get up, if we can get up to a thousand dollars, even with a bunch of two dollar pledges, the more people that do it, the more likely we are to get to that amount, and then I can start giving away free snakes. And I will be doing free snakes that will be exclusive to my patron members. So if you're a patron subscriber to me on my Patreon page and we get to a certain amount, you guys are going to be able to start seeing ball pythons given away for free, and they're going to be high-end ones, too. They're not going to be just like a pastel or a, or a lemon blast or something like that. You're going to be looking at, like, clown combos and pied combos and um, desert ghost stuff and, and whatever we can whatever we can do on this. It's basically going to be 25% of whatever I earn a month. So, and you can see what I earn each month on my Patreon. So if you go to patreon.com slash reptiles, it tells you right out how much I get per month from my patrons, subscribers, or members. So, really looking forward to that. And I thank you again very much. For, thank you again, Ed, for uh, supporting me on Patreon. Really appreciate it. And then finally, uh, the last one is Stephanie Haverstick. Thank you very much, Stephanie. I really appreciate your support. Oops, did that one already. This is the final one right here. This is a Bumblebee Spectre male. He's a proven breeder. He's about, yeah, he's about five, 550 grams, I believe. And he'll be ready to go for you guys if you want to pick him up. Let me know if you're interested in any of these things I, I showed you just now. Message me for price and availability and all that kind of good stuff. But thank you very much, Stephanie, for supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate it. And if anybody else wants to help support me on Patreon, it's easy. Just go to patreon.com slash reptiles. And if you have any questions or concerns about anything, feel free to contact me or the people right there at Patreon. Thank you guys very much. Be sure to check out Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for Hissy Fit Reptiles. And be sure to subscribe and like this video. And I'll be bringing you more content. Thank you very much.